Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today, we're going to be talking about, do you have to wear a black bow tie to a black tie event? Okay. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by doing that. These videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this video, if you find it useful, please like it down below. And finally, I'm going to link you to more information about black tie. In addition, we'll link you to our free 47 page ebook, which gives you tons of information about men's style. Okay. Let's get right to the question. Question on black tie. Do you have to wear a bow tie? I believe there is a trend for younger gentlemen to wear a regular silk necktie, normally in black, as an alternative to the bow tie. Just look at any Hollywood red carpet event and you will see men in tuxedos wearing regular neckties instead of bow ties. Is it just a fad or new and acceptable trend that will regulate the bow tie to the same fashion heap as spats and ascots? Well, it's a good question and something that you know, you look on television and especially these black, you know, these uh, red carpet events and you see these gentlemen in black tie and it does raise the question, you know, here you see some of supposedly the best dressed men in the world and they're breaking or they're bending rules. My first thing and, and what I want to be very clear is that these aren't actually probably great role models to be following. A lot of these gentlemen, they're actually well, they're all actors and they're put into a position and they've got stylists who are trying to push the envelope and take it more towards the fashion direction. I think there are some great examples out there. Uh, Russell Crowe does overall a pretty good job. George Clooney has kept it very classic. Adrian Brody is another good example. So men like that, they've done a overall good job of keeping it very classic and simple. Daniel Craig is another excellent example. But what you need to remember is that black tie it's all about rules and it's one of the things where it's very simple for you to get it right simply by following the rules. One of them is you should wear the black tie, uh, you know, bow tie. But there is room left for interpretation on that. This could be changed because it used to be that we wore the, uh, the, the pointed, uh, the wing collar. Now we use a turn down collar and that's basically what I have here. It turns collar that turns down. The wing has these little points that go up. Whenever you wore the wing collar, you had to either wear an ascot or you had to wear a bow tie with it. The necktie just didn't work. Now that almost all men are wearing the turn down collar, it gives you the option of actually wearing the black necktie or the bow tie. And I know there's some traditionalists out there who will totally disagree with me on this, but I think that the fact if you go with that type of a collar, it leaves it open and that collar has been accepted by, you know, you, you see men meeting the king, uh, the queen over in England and they're wearing that type of collar with, with black tie. And because of that, it has opened the door. And I believe in black tie, you're allowed one piece of flair, if you, if you, you know, if that's a good word for it, but you're allowed to kind of bend and break one rule. Now, this is for the men who really understand style. And I know some of, some of you guys out there are watching this. You actually do go to a number of black tie events and you, you want to change things up a bit. So you can introduce one, I would say, you know, one change up to your outfit that kind of breaks or bends the rules. I personally like it when a man wears something like a red pocket square or he's got a cummerbund or waistcoat that's of a contrast color, perhaps red or something a little bit more muted. Uh, but some men decide, hey, I'm going to change this up. I think a great example and one that's a bit more subtle than actually changing up the whole necktie is to actually go with a very, very subtle pattern in a black bow tie. And you can find bow ties out there that have a little bit of a, of a texture to them or even a little bit of a hidden pattern. Those I think do a better job. But if you want to go with a black necktie, just realize that you've got to have the right type of, of collar. It needs to be a white shirt, of course. And every that that is your one rule that you're breaking. So you need to make sure that you cover your, you have a waist uh, covering. You know, a lot of guys mess it up on the red carpet. They never have a waist covering. So you either need to have a cummerbund or a waistcoat and keep everything else simple and classic. Your tuxedo should have peak or it should be a char lapel. There's a lot more. I'm going to link to it down below. I'll, I'll, in fact, I'm going to link you over to the black tie guide. Peter Marshall has written and researched about this, you know, ad nauseum. But again, I think you can bend and break one rule if you understand the found and, and have a good understanding of the foundations of men's style. So that's my answer. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. This has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. Take care. Bye-bye.